All right, so this is number video number four of three of number four. Um, unfortunately, I accidentally hit the the button to restart recording all over again instead of hitting my pa unpause, and here we go again. So back to this. Um, so this is going to actually stitch out the outline of the bear's head. So I'm going to lower my press of foot, hit start. This is the fabric I'm going to use, the same one I used for the paw. Okay. Well, the hands. Okay. Oopsie daisy. Okay, so now we're on 14, and I'm just gonna like kind of pretty much go. I, I made myself frustrated um, playing with this because I keep hitting those wrong buttons. So, and and I, you don't know how much this just throwing fabric down and actually just say, hey, do your thing. It's so fun. All right. Um, I don't think I'm going to, I don't, I don't need to glue that one because I know it's going to not move because it's large enough. So I'm just going to go for it. Right. Well, I messed up. <laughs> I messed up. But guess what I can do? Redo. We're going to redo it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut all of this off, all of it, up and out of the way. And I'm going to relay another piece down and bring it nicely down to where it belongs, okay? Hold on. Don't judge me. <laughs> Sometimes making mistakes um, can benefit you. So I don't... I need to clean that fabric up. I don't want all that lint on there. But so that's that's my cutout. And let's clean some of that up. Okay. There. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna throw another piece on and I'm gonna have it come down to where it belongs, which is right there. Um and I'm glad I'm making mistakes because I don't want y'all thinking that I know what I'm doing. I'd have no clue. All right, I just know what I've seen on a couple of videos, so that so that should cover it this go round. So here we go again. So we're on 15. So what I'm gonna do is back it up because I made a mistakey, and we're gonna go to 14. Boom. Hit OK. All right, and that's the outline of my teddy bear head and let's see what it does yes there you have it okay so it gave it to me this time all right So we have that. So now what I am going to do instead of pulling up that fabric, we're going to go ahead and do number 15 and just stitch everything down because I don't think it's a, um, I don't think that's an outline because it's, it has two minutes here and then one minute there. So I know that's not an outline. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get all of this done, which is her um what is it the ears um shadows and the face shadows okay so we're gonna just do that lower my press the foot just leave that uncut in there and we're gonna just move on all right i think the video is kind of making me a little annoyed because come on I'm trying to find my focus there we go. All 
Now I noticed on this, it's leaving a tail. I don't know because uh, if the stitches are like too short of a stitch, you know, to finish pushing the tail all the way in. But hey, what's the snip? This is the front, um, what's, what is that noise? See, I don't like that when I hear that portion, but it did that again. I, it could just be the directional, um, of the frame. And I could be running out of bobbin. I hope not. Everything is in order. There's nothing tied up. It's just coming from the frame sound. The sound of the frame, rather. Okay. So that's... We're doing the outline of the ear. Again. Alright. Oh, no. We're doing the outline of the whole entire head. If I want to, I could have changed changed the um, nose of the um, maternity black. I think that's the nose. Yeah, that's going to be the nose. So we're not going to do um, the snout. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to leave it. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it. I hate re-threading this thing. So I'm just going to leave it. It's going to be a, a circular color. It's going to be like that. It's going to kind of be circular. I don't know if you can see it, but here we go. It'll be noticeable, but it'll be in the same color. Yeah. I think it's noticeable. I don't know. Yeah, a little. Not much. So, and then the, um, the eye. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Just a little tech. Man, I hate that I stopped the video accidentally. Man. I need to get better. <laughs> okay. Now, we're on 18. This is the little cutie flower, I think. What is that? Yeah, I think that's a little flower petal. And then they're going to... I wonder, should I change it? Should I change the color? Because here's what I did with this one. And I'm thinking, no. No, I don't want to. I just want to finish this video and be done. How about that? And that's not even what that is. What is that? Oh, that's the little cheek. The little cheeky cheek. I'm glad I didn't change the colors. Oh, and the flower. It's going to do the flower as well. So the, the little cheeks and then the flower. So I was looking at it wrong. Up to, go up to the ear. Yeah. See the details around the mouth area? Yeah, so it's nice, it's really nice. Look at the little flower, how cute, how cute. Alright. I 
think we're almost done. Where are we now? We're gonna hit the center piece of the flower. That's the the inner bud of the flower. Okay, so we're gonna do that real quick. That could have been a different color. Now on this one, what I did, I was trying some styrofoam, and I put some the um foam underneath that um to see if it'll give it a lift, but. It is what it is. Um, so I'm going to lower my presser foot. And I'm going to see, should I? Let's try it. How about we just try and put some foam under there and see what the outcome will be. Dun -dun 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 -dun. How about that? So I'm going to cut it. Let me just cut a little piece real quick. Oops, that fell on the floor. Maybe if I put it up here, it won't do all that. There. Yeah. Alright. So I'm just going to stick it right there. I'm not going to even... I'm not going to even glue it down. Let me just put it there. Lower my presser foot. <gasps> Oops. Up you go. What are you going to... What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Lower the presser foot. And hit start. I have no idea what this thing is going to do. Okay. Alright. Okay. How cute. I'm going to just peel that up and out the way, I think. I need to. There. Okay. So it's stitched it down. I don't know what it looks like just yet. But it's done. Um, oh, remember I was looking at the white at the very end when I was messing with the stitches? So, this is going to actually outline the whole entire bear. So, what I have to do is come back in one minute. So, it's going to do this outline, which I didn't have, I didn't put down enough fabric on the outside as, on some of it. So the stitching, like right here, it's going to do this outline across the whole entire little teddy bear. So can you see those little stitches on the outside? So I'm going to try and leave enough fabric out there. It's going to do all that. All right. So give me one second. Okay, I'm back. And so I'm, I trimmed it up. And that's how the little flower looks with the um, styrofoam in the center in the center of it and that's kind of how her face looks had i you know did the ch color change it would have looked a little different but i just didn't feel like it i feel like i hate threading this machine <laughs> so and i did a rough cut around everything just to see whether or not it picks up the fabrics so let's go well I'm gonna press the foot and go and no <laughs> and it's okay see right there where it's like literally outlining so I have to remember to maybe make the um, stitches Oh, I should have. Uh, it would have done it. No, still would not have. So cut the stitches like a little longer on the outside next time. All lessons learned. Yeah. So that's not bad. Not bad at all. And, oh, I forgot about my J. So now we're on our J. I forgot I added a, a J to this. So I'm just going to... Let's just get a crazy color. Alright. I forgot about my J. So we're gonna do we're gonna uh applique a J on here. I'll be right back. Alright. Alright, so I have my fabric for my J. It's gonna match her shirt, her top portion of her shirt. So now keep in mind if you remember when I did the J, if I had a this could have been an outline. Then if I had a 
placed another J on top of this outline, I would have had a trace J to know exactly where my fabric will sit, and then it would have appliqued the J, okay? So what I am going to do, what I can do, is actually, matter of fact, I'll show you. Here's what I'll do. So due to the fact that I just have one J, hopefully it's not gonna say finish. It's gonna say finish, Never mind. So I'm gonna, cause I don't, I, it may or may not, I'm not gonna test, I'm just, cause I want this over and done with. So I have, I'm gonna just go, go for it. Okay, let's just do the J. And get it over and done with, cause I'm gonna try and back it up to double stitch it again. Come on, focus, focus. All right. Oh, so I could have because what it did is started me all over, and it says embroidery finish done. I can hit OK. Um, there's my little J. And I, again, if I could have, I could have started all over by skipping all of these, which I'm going to skip everything. I'm going to go here because I'm going to redo it. Okay, six, seven, eight, what is it, 21, dun, 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 19, and 21, I'm going to hit OK, it'll take me back to the J again, all right, and um, we're going to do the J over again, just to kind of pin it, pin it down, all right, ah, oh, I did that again. I hate when I do that. Okay. No. All right. And we're going to hit start. There we go. I keep getting this and my sewing machine mixed up. So I always do the needle down. And there's no need. So you see? Everything is finished. Um, again, it's going to tell me embroidery and everything is finished. And it goes back to start. If I want to start another one, I can push my sister girl up to here. <laughs> and or put in a whole nother um, fabric pieces all over the place. So I'm going to cut around my J, take it out and just do it. Just be done. Hold on one sec. Okay, there she is. She's out of the... Oh, that's bright tight. She's out. I've trimmed her up um, around. I haven't... I need to clean that up. That's from the back, though. Up there. There's my little J. Yes, yes. Okay, I can clean that up a little bit more. But I think if it fray a little bit, that would be so cute. Um, everything is cute though. I like it. Yeah. And I use my peeking shears. No, it was no need. I just wanted to have a cute little design around it. Um, I used the peeking shears just for the, um, I don't know, just for the look. Because this fabric does not fray at all. Um, but again, that's just underneath. I ripped with the, um, tearaway stabilizer. Which I need to, I could remove it. I, she could be a little patch. <laughs> you know, that would be a cute little crazy patch. Yes. Anybody? Anybody want her? She can be yours for seven eighty-eight. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's cute. I can. I'm going to put some heat and bond on it, and I might just, I, I might keep that. My daughter may have a fun, fun something to do with it. Um, I don't know, but I think this would be really cute for putting on um, maybe in a square of a um, a quilt. That, you know, different squares. It would take a lot of time, maybe a year, 
<laughs> especially for me, but this was fun. Um, and I love using all my scrap pieces. Can you imagine how much fabric will like be like none in your fabric room in your fabric stash? This can use up all your fabric, you know, just doing appliques. Um, how cool is that? And my mother wants me to make her some curtains. So I am so ready to play. I want to learn a lot more about this machine. I can't wait to make curtains, pillows, and quilts. Um, and I am getting ready to make use, use up all these patterns. I have over like 70 patterns, probably more. Um, so I will be using my shirt um, patterns and embroidering on them. Um, I will be opening up a pair of pants, some old jeans that I have that I really love, but you know, they're, they're old. I want to put, um, some flowers on them. This cute teddy bear would be cute to embroider on a, a pair of pants, like, you know, a pocket or just something crazy. Um, yeah, I think this is cute. So I like it. Have fun with yours. If I do anything else, any other projects, I will post them and have, you know, have it going on and on. So thank you, Baby Lock Company. I love my flair. I love it, love it, love it. Oh my gosh. I hope anyone else who have purchased theirs enjoy it just as much as I have. I cannot stay out my sewing room. Um, I am like in this thing all of the time. It's, it's crazy. I, I just sit here and play. Um, and you know, I may come back and do another video on how I download my embroidery um, images and how I created my own. Um, because you can, you know, just like the teddy bear, you know, I see how maybe you possibly you could just take uh, the ovals that they have um, that's on the machine that already comes with the machine and just make an oval. Take the oval, make it smaller, turn it on its on on its um um well vertical and then horizontal. Just flip it like that. Um, ears could be the the letter C. The paws could be the letter D. This area could be E. Okay, the the paw um, area here could be um, colon marks. Okay, I mean, and this is just a little square. Uh, you know, you you can create your own little animal or something just with using different things in the machine, creating your own embroidery um, pieces. And just keep in mind the order that you pull them down will be the order that they stitch in. So if you pull out a circle first, it's going to stitch the circle. If you pull out the E, it's going to stitch down here and go all the way down here and make the E. So just keep in mind where you're actually pulling your, um, what you're placing as your pattern and the time that you're placing it. All right. So fun, fun, fun. Talk to you guys later. Enjoy your machine. And no, this is not sponsored. I pay for this. It came straight out of my pocket. I'm not endorsing them at all am i endorsing them i think i am but anyway <laughs> so yeah it's i'm not getting paid for this this thing is i just love my machine all right talk to you guys later there she is <laughs>